Hello, brothers and sisters of Christ. Um, I'm eating my dinner late tonight. Uh, I took, I put some, uploaded some videos, and I took them down because God. I'll explain it in the next upcoming video. Um, really struggling with a certain Bible study I want to share with you guys, and God just kept telling me it's not right, it's not right, and I kept pushing it. And God's trying to tell me to have patience, have patience. So I'm trying my best to have patience. Um, but I want to share something. When God does something for you, you want to share it. The main thing is my garden. These are zucchinis. So this one it just seems like they're fat on the end and they're skinny when they get down here. They're different from the ones you get at the store. Of course, uh, the ones you grow on your own are always going to be different from the ones at the store. The only thing is, is my squash. <laughs> If you look at my hand, uh, they're not getting as big. They should be able to get as big as this. Some of them do, but one thing I'm fighting it now is little mites, I think they call it, where it's, they, they attach themselves to the leaves and they start draining the energy of the plant and everything. So I've been spraying them, and they keep getting on this, the, the squash. So, And I was able to get me a couple more tomatoes. But the important, the important thing in this video is why I'm cutting, I wanted to talk with you guys. So might not be looking at the uh, camera all the time. But an amazing thing happened to me. As I was doing the study, uh, the study I'm be, upcoming study I'm going to be doing is, um, uh, can, I guess I say right, at first I was going to name it, Can a Christian be Carnal? And that's what was confusing me. There's verses I didn't quite understand. It was I was struggling with it. Like I was trying to make the Bible say what I wanted it to say versus what it actually says. And then God got on to me and um, I was sitting outside looking at the stars. Praise the Lord, I get to still do that. Uh, the rain hasn't come yet. It's been a weird summer, but it's been a blessing this summer has. So I'm sitting out there underneath the stars, and I'm talking with the Lord, and I'm like, you know what, we're doing this study, trying to figure out, you know, uh, can a Christian be carnal and whatnot? And then I got to thinking with the Lord, I said, when's the last time, I said, Lord, when's the last time we went through the house and went through my life to say, um, is there anything I can give up for you? And it was weird because I've done a study lately about uh, video games, you know, and I still stand to it. I don't believe someone can really be into video games and playing a lot of wicked video games and be in ministry part-time or full-time. I really don't believe they should. Uh, you can struggle with sin. I have. I've fallen back into playing a little bit of a game or two here and there. And God convicts me and gets me out. But I'm talking about people who justify video games. And it's fine. It's nothing wrong with it. So I was sitting out there. I was talking to the Lord. I said, is there anything I can give up? And over the last week and all the time, I keep getting these emails popping up on my very old emails saying, Hey, Cog Galaxy, this game that's on your wish list. <laughs> It's, it's got 50% off, or Steam, these are two different accounts that you can buy games to download and play off your computer. And I'm like, God's like, you know what, this whole time you keep struggling with it, you fall back into it, you struggle with it, and I'm not talking about every day, but I'm talking about I've gone two years without playing games, praise the Lord. But the Lord's like, why do you still have those accounts? And part of me's like, well, but... Okay, that doesn't work. What about this excuse? Okay, that one won't work either. And I saw a shooting star first. I left that out. I saw a good shooting star, and I'm sitting there, and I'm talking with the Lord about it, and he's like, how come you still have those accounts? And I'm like, you know what, Lord? You're right. I shouldn't have those accounts. The temptation wouldn't be there if I didn't have those accounts. I mean, it's still going to be in your head sometimes, but I'm talking about when, you really, when I really get tempted to play games, Especially during the winter when you're stuck inside all the time because of all the rain. And I've told you, brothers and sisters of Christ, about it. Get out and do something. There's times where I would jump in the truck, drive all the way down to the beach with it raining, rolling down the window, and all I get to see or hear is the ocean and listen to a Bible study because it's raining. You can't see through the window. But anything to get out of the house and get away from temptation. So... I'm like, I'm sitting there, and we, I've been listening to the Old Testament, went through Genesis again. I love the old stories in the Old Testament, and there's things you can learn. Instruction, righteousness, mistakes of others. Um, 
And because uh, I want to be a man after God's own heart like King David. I want to be uh, the disciple whom Jesus loved like John. Uh, you know, I want to be like Peter in the sense that God saw something in him that he would, you know, he's the foundation. Jesus Christ is, not Peter. But Peter was called into ministry and everything. And uh, Paul was called into ministry. You know what I'm saying? You watch those kind of things. So I've been watching the old, listening to the Old Testament. I'm sitting there and I'm like, what they did in the Old Testament, when God said he'd do something, they'd be like, well, I need a sign to see if that's what you really want me to do. And I started to think it. And I said, Lord, I'm sorry for thinking it. I'm so sorry for thinking it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, I'll get to it. I'll get around to canceling those uh, accounts. But what I was thinking in my head was, is if I saw another shooting star, I'd get in there and I'd take care of it. And I'm like, sorry, Lord, I was listening to the Old Testament and I'm not supposed to do that. We're going to get rid of it ASAP. Um, so I'm laying there and we're talking for another like 15, 20 minutes. And the next thing I know, there's a shooting star. And I'm talking, this thing lasted a while. I mean, like two seconds almost. I mean, it was just streaking across the sky and then disappeared. And I'm sitting there looking at it. And I'm thinking, to, I'm like, Lord, like he was just, you know, you know how the Lord is. He can be, have a sense of humor and, and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. So we come inside and I was like, Lord, I don't know how to delete these things. Sometimes they're hard. I'm very, it's hard for me to understand these things as far as the computer and how to do things. So we're sitting there and guess what? I, got, I was able to get on both sites and it wasn't that hard at all. And I was able to delete my account on one of them. The other one, it's suspended because they give you 30 days in case you change your mind. It's almost like temptation. But it's canceled and within 30 days that one will be deleted. And I'll no longer have an account with video games on it. But I wanted to share that with you because, like I said, when God does something amazing in your life, you want to share it with the brethren. And like I said, I looked at that shooting star and I'm like, Lord, you're pretty amazing. It's just, you're just amazing. And what's great is every night I sit out there and talk with the Lord. I think two nights ago is when this happened. And then last night I saw, that wasn't a barn owl, but this huge owl kept making noises down there for the past three nights. And this night I was goofing around. And I tried to mimic his voice, the way he was screeching, and the next thing I know, he flew all the way over down the hillside and landed on a branch, one of the dead trees down there, and I got to look at him for a while. There's so many blessings the Lord gives us, but I just wanted to share that with you to encourage the brethren out there that what's really going to hurt you is if you keep the temptation there, okay? You do whatever you can to get the temptation out of your life. Um, just get that temptation out. So God got that out of my life, praise the Lord. Um, just keep going through your house. I mean, like I said, I haven't done that in a long time. It feels like a long time. And I'm like, Lord, should I give up anything? And he just It's just weird because it's not weird. It's just the way God works because I'm sitting there. Before I can get the words out of my mouth, is there anything I need to give up or is there any more sin? And before I even got that sentence out, God put it in my head, what about those game accounts? You keep getting emails saying, hey, buy this, come play this game, come play this game. You know that's one of your temptations that you struggle with. Why don't you get rid of those accounts? So, I really wanted to share that with you. And, like I said, the study that's coming up, okay, our mindset is supposed to be different now that we're saved. God has blessed me so much, way above that I am deserving like I said we should only be we should be content with food and raiment and when God shows you something to your, in your life that doesn't please him you can't glorify him you can't give him thanks in it's temptation and everything and he goes get rid of it you might struggle a little bit but brothers and sisters in Christ you want your life to be right with the Lord and you want your walk with the Lord to be strong and full of joy and peace you got to have the attitude of I'm getting rid of it it's gone. I'm getting rid of it. So, I want this to encourage you, brothers and sisters of Christ. Continue to saint, let God sanctify your life. Get ready uh, to catch away of the body of Christ, that blessed hope. I always keep saying, when, look, when you're looking for that blessed hope, 
it's not that we're sitting there looking in the stars and looking up at the clouds and everything saying, when are you going to kick us home? Can you take us home today, Lord? Oh, the world is so vexing. I just want to come home, Lord. Or, um, you know, you're tired of this uh, body of, of flesh. Um, Paul said it would be better to be in heaven because he wanted to be with Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to be with Jesus Christ. But the point I'm trying to make for instruction in righteousness is that you may need to make sure your life, you look at your life and say, am I doing everything I can for the Lord? Am I making sure that my life is good for the Lord? The Lord came back, and not that He would come back down, but if He came and knocked on your door and wanted to come in, He can see everything, He knows everything about your home, everything you've been doing on that computer, everything you've looked at. If you're still doing it, would He be happy with your home? Do you have a godly home? Is your life godly, pleasing to the Lord? So that's the whole point. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, stay strong. I'm done cutting, done cutting all my uh, vegetables. I have one of those. Uh, I'll carry it over for a second. I hope I don't drop it. It's one of these rice cookers, and it comes with one of these. So if you just put water in it and you put this on the top and turn it on, you can steam vegetables. So. It's a good, healthy way to eat. Right? I don't always eat healthy, but it's a good, healthy way to eat. So I gotta get this started. It's late for me, and I want to get the uh, intro video for this next study out. So, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and my love for you in Jesus Christ. Trust the Lord. You can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth you. He'll get that stuff out of your life. See you in the next video.